Hi, Redemption Tucson. This is Tina Dare, and we have a very special Mother's Day edition of our All of Life interviews, where we get to reflect on ways that we serve Christ in our day-to-day -day lives. So I have three amazing mamas here that are at different stages in their motherhood journey. They are going to share a little bit um, about what it's like to be a mom and reflect God. So we have Mary Mitchell, Becky Heller, and Kira Goffney, and we're just going to have a little conversation here um, live for you all. So the first question for you ladies is, how has God revealed himself to you as you've had the opportunity to reflect him through your work as a mom? Um, yeah, I've been thinking about this, just God revealing himself to me and as a mom and when you have your little baby and they're born, you just experience this love that is overwhelming for that baby. Like you will do anything to keep that baby alive and fed and nourished. Um, and that just grows deeper and deeper as your kids get older. Um, you see the personalities God has given them and, and this constant love for them of wanting to protect and care and provide. And I just, um, it's given me such a unique and, and beautiful picture of God's love for me. Like me, he still views me as I view my children, even more so, like a hundred times full um, of his love for me, his care for me, um, that I can't do anything um, wrong to make him unlove me. Um, that's just been the biggest, I think, takeaway is God's unconditional, never ending, like overflowing love for me as his child. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I've just seen God's faithfulness, um, his love, his grace, his kindness, his provision. Uh, for me, when I became a mom, I didn't know what I was doing. I wasn't ready to be a mom. And I, I kind of had to figure out what motherhood looked like and left to my own devices. Um, at the time I was reading to my daughter, Shiloh. Uh, she's our oldest, who's now five. At the time she was probably around two. I was reading her Winnie the Pooh. And there was a character in the story that she really resonated with. And it's a kangaroo, a fish, fictional kangaroo. And at the time, she referred to this kangaroo as, and I quote, the good mother. And so clearly something resonated within her. And I was like, okay, I guess I have to be like this kangaroo. Um, I decided also to pull in Mary Poppins. And so I created this like idyllic mother for myself to like live into. And it just didn't go well for me. Um, I tend, yeah, it just was not a good thing. But what I saw happening was God bringing women into my life to help teach me and train me how to be a mom and what motherhood actually looked like aside from Mary Poppins and a fictional kangaroo. Um, and, and just the life that that brought to my family of moms who were much older than me, who are now grandmas, who moms who are a couple steps ahead of me, moms who were in the same stage of life that I was, just being able to learn from them and uh, grow as a mom. Like this has been something that I've had to learn, um, but God's been so gracious in allowing me to be taught. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so good. And then we know that we are being moms and parenting in a deeply broken world. So how does the work of motherhood reveal something about that brokenness for you? Um, I know from my own experience and um, when I first got married, I wanted to be, uh, become a mom very quickly and uh, was ready for that. And it took me five years to get pregnant. So um, waiting and not being able to fulfill that longing and having God bring me to a point of um, just wanting another desire um, because that's all I knew. And um, being invited into appreciating the fact that, it, that children are a gift and um, eventually being able to have two of my own, which has been an incredible blessing. But uh, nothing reveals our own brokenness like trying to raise children well. <laughs> Um, there's so many days when I felt like I was failing miserably and prayed, um, that love would cover a multitude of sin. Um, it definitely keeps you at the feet of Jesus. <laughs> um, but we're all fallen and broken people. And we see that from, you know, the smallest of us and toddlers that, um, take things that don't belong to them or lie or are selfish, you know, um, and, uh, left to ourselves, we grow in those sins. Um, but as a mom, we get to love our kids with discipline and boundaries and just like God does with us. Um, um, we get to 
we get to show our kids those boundaries and the freedom that is that we're able to work with when in those boundaries and the consequences of what happens when we leave them. Um, as our kids grow, we get to help them make good decisions. We get to help them walk through friendships, what it looks like to be a friend, um, to have a friend, what it looks like when those friendships fail. We get to be a place where they can run to and be a safe place for our children, which is amazing. Um, we get to pray with them and teach them um, how to love others well and to share our faith and uh, the hope that we have in Christ. And for me, where I'm at right now, um, watching my babies become adults and watching um, just what God is doing in their own lives. And it's amazing to walk in this broken world together, but also learn from them as to what God's teaching them and glean from that is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so much of what you said, Mary, just really resonated with me. Um, just being a young mama of a five, a three, and a one-year-old, um, and just learning how to discipline children um, with this question as far as the brokenness um, of the world. Uh, it didn't take long to uh, sleepless nights to catch up with me to see the brokenness of my own heart, um, my own selfishness, my own pride coming out, uh, my own anger. Um, I always thought I was a naturally patient and kind person. And then God gave me these little blessings and it just really was challenging. Um, and, uh, but it was so good just seeing, like just being reminded as I was reflecting on this question, um, just being reminded that God is a God who enters into the chaos and into the brokenness. And so my job as a mom now is to also enter into the chaos and the brokenness of my own home um, with the hitting, the stealing of toys, you know, the constant, in the Heller family, we do not do this. I love you too much. I'll let you walk this way. You know, just those little things that I say now that I'm like, this is coming out of my own mouth. And thank God for the women who trained me to say these things because I just wouldn't know how to say these things of myself. And, you know, oftentimes I just look around me and be like, this, what is going on? I don't understand it. Um, but just remembering just the beauty of just a God who enters in and that mm -hmm. that's calling as a mom that when I step foot out of my room each morning that I get to enter in to the needs, to the brokenness, um, to the chaos, and that I get to be um, steady because of the Holy Spirit empowering me to love my children. Um, so great. And the great commandment that we have um, throughout scripture as followers of Christ is to love our neighbor. So how has motherhood an opportunity to do that? Oh gosh. Um, think of loving your neighbor um, in so many different ways. And I think first, just loving your neighbor, being the people in your own household. Um, if a child has siblings, teaching them how their first neighbor is their sibling <laughs> on either side of their door, um, trying to walk through that. Um, loving each other, like parents loving each other well, to be able to love their kids well. Um, kids learning how to love their parents and vice versa, I think is really important. Um, and then out of that, I think, you know, kids are such attention drawers anyway, from when they're cute little babies and toddlers to um, when they're older, they just really invite people into conversation um, and draw out, I know in our like physical neighborhood, um, our kids have actually been one of the most outspoken, loving people, just they know everyone, we're not going anywhere else except walks around our neighborhood. And it's just been so sweet to see the Lord use kids um to actually reach out to grown-ups and be like oh hi are you planting tomatoes what are you you know kids don't know filters or boundaries so it's great because adults do and we feel like we have to act in a certain way or um yeah anyway so it's been really sweet to see how motherhood has really allowed um, me to learn how to love my people in my house well but also those around me um well and better um, because of my kids Okay. Um, for me, I met my best friend um, in the parking lot of the elementary school. Um, and so um, just another mom that uh, my kids actually went to a Christian school at that stage and uh, we were going to chapel and she just came up to me and she was like, because we were kind of dressed not in sweats that morning or whatever. And she noticed that I was dressed the same. So she was, um, she was like, hey, are you going to chapel? And we started just meeting and going to that. We started going on walks together. So I think as a mom, um, we have so many opportunities. Um, when you see another mom and their kids, it's just kind of an easy draw. 
um, whether it's in the grocery store, a doctor's office, or, you know, a park or a parking lot. Um, we have the opportunity to reach out and we can encourage with a smile, uh, with an encouraging word, with just a shared um, stress level. <laughs> However, um, it just, we have tons of opportunities to um, just love on other moms and their kids and um, to encourage and to love well. Amazing. Thank you so much, ladies, for these reflections. I just love that God's heart is for our everyday moments and that these little moments that are cultivating a whole um, kiddos for a lifetime are ways that we get to participate in his restorative work. So let me pray for you and for the moms in our congregation. Oh, Father, we just thank you so much for the invitation and gift um, to be mothers. Uh, we do pray for those that are longing to be mothers that haven't had that gift. Um, for people that have lost their moms or um, are grieving a broken relationship with their moms. Um, your world is so deeply broken, Lord. Um, but in the midst of that, there is redemption. And we thank you for the ways that each one of these ladies are participating in your redemptive work. We pray that in this unique time that you would strengthen and encourage um, and just bring life to the mothers of Redemption Tucson. We love you. We pray this in your name. Amen.